So another array method you guys need to know is the reduce method. So according to the word reduce, reduce is just like you compressing um, array into a single into a single value. So this you can use this reduce method maybe to get the sum of a number. So that is one of the main purpose or main use case of um, reduce. But there are still some advanced um, way that you can use a reduce method on an array on some um, advanced level um, advanced level arrays. So, but in this, like I said before, in this tutorial or in this video, we're going to be going with the, the shorts and easy to understand ones. So in the upcoming videos and in the, in the practical section on this channel, you'll be seeing more advanced touches or advanced um, use case of the reduce method and not just the reduce method and also the, um, the, the advanced use case of this array method apart from the basic explanation I'm giving and this basic explanation should mainly guide the beginners that are just coming in to JavaScript programming language and um, trying to or finding it difficult to understand the the concepts or the, the yeah let me say concepts of of what these array methods are and how they can go about choosing them. So coming back here um, after the the, the ones uh, so I, I made a few changes to the array that we used while I was explaining the filter. So this is the this is the um array that we're going to be using to explain the basic level of of the reduce method. So if you if you want to use the reduce method, so let me just like I did before let's see to tell this yeah. So then we do this like the usual students fee dot reduce. So but the thing you need to note is in the reduce method, unlike unlike the map method and the filter method, the the, the reduce method takes four parameters. You know if you can remember or if you have not if this is the first video you're finding out on this channel. So there are videos where I explained the map method and the filter method. So the map method and filter method, they take three, three um, parameters. So that or three arguments, which is you take the current, the index, and the array. But when we talk about the reduce method, it takes four parameters. And the first parameter is the accumulator. Sorry. I don't know if I get it right. Then it takes the current element, then the index, and also it takes the array. So let me just explain this briefly. This accumulator is just is like when when the when um the reduce is iterating on each on each of these elements in our array. So it's accumulating them into this variable here, this argument or this parameter here. So it will keep accumulating as it is iterating through each of these elements. It is accumulating the, the results to this accumulator parameter here. You can shorten it, it's not necessary you add it. You can use this, you can then this current. You can short this current and you can, you can use any name. But just just make sure you're using a short so a short word so it will be easy for you to type and for you to remember you understand right so I explained that it takes three parameters four parameters sorry so for this to work it, this method also takes a callback function just like the map and the filter um, method so so let's say on on this area we created here. Yeah, so we want let me just okay um, i'm just do this 
so I've done this then we are not going to be using this area of course we're not going to be using this too so it's just a simple thing for us to remember so like i said you can use an arrow you can use arrow function or you can use function declaration in your in the while you are writing the callback function here so you can just force force to do, use the accumulator so all we have to do is do the accumulator plus the current plus the current element so if I console log this, if I say to alpha, to alpha is so you see this is this is what it gives us. But if we are when you are using the reduce method, there is something you need to note that you need to give it the the um starting starting parameter, which is but usually it's usually zero. Which means you want it. We want it to start accumulating at zero. So if you start, you if you start using zero to start. So if you're using zero to start, I mean, so when this is accumulating, it will be it will be adding up to this zero here. There are some cases whereby you can put or you can put anything apart from zero, or so sometimes you can you can decide to use this. Um, the first the first element in the array the first element you can use this array okay I just use students fee then we bring out the first one which is the zero there are some cases where you can do this but you know it will not give you the correct distance because it's taking this as your as your starting point for the accumulator so you see the the amount here changes if you can notice but i would not advise that there are some cases where you will need to use it and there are some cases you want but for this case for this for this explanation we are using zero to start our our to start the method and with this is going to give us the accuracy if you add all these elements together Maybe you can just take a calculator and on the side then you add all this you will notice that this is what it's going to give us so that is what the reduce method does so it's it's compress the values it's compressed the values into a single element so that is what it does you can use this reduce method in many ways and like i said before but um here we are just taking the short version the brief version to explain but in the upcoming videos that I, I will be uploading on this channel we we see the more use case of it in our programming language in our project i mean in when we are working with apis we can use it in place of map and filter but we are going to be discussing about that later in our future videos and stuff and you will be able to learn more on how to implement or how to use the reduce method so this is just like i said this is just short version and um like i used to say i will be dropping a documentation where you can learn more about it and how you can use the parameter and stuff like that so thank you for watching my videos i will if you find it educative explain it well well explained like, share, and comment. Thank you so much.